So it's Alright, alright, so <laughs> this is gonna be an experiment to demonstrate the vector currents and the vacuum it creates right around here. Right. So when the air comes up, it goes up and then it has to recirculate. And then when the air moves this way, there's a make there's a vacuum here. So the cold air has to get get sucked in to replace the hotter that that gets uh, that rises into the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Here we're going to demonstrate the vacuum effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to place some water on the on the plate. Wait, do we have to put the cup first? No. Mm -hmm. So here's water, and then I'm going to color it so you can see it. Oh, green. Then uses his head. should be somewhat visible now. <laughs> Yay! It's green! No, oh, watch it this way. It's green! Okay, and then... What? Yeah, this is cool. Okay, you don't need assistance. It's like you're smoking. Oh! oh. Alright, so what's gonna happen is... Air is a compressible gas, so that means when the hot air rises, it's going to compress here. It should create a vacuum, and that will cause the green water to be sucked into this cup. Oh, see. Oh, that's called. Oh, so that's the example of the convection. Ah, it's dead. Oh, it's dead. Right, because the water is extinguished in the flame. Because the again the the air here was at room temperature, the hot air rises and it compressed oh. up here, so it caused the vacuum, which is an example of the convection effect. Oh, this is interesting. Wow. All right. <laughs>